Hello, my name is Abby Tebber, and on behalf of my co-authors, I'd like to give you a brief overview of our article, UK-specific cost-effectiveness of teotropium plus olodaterol fixed-dose combination versus other LAMA plus LABA combinations in patients with COPD. Combined bronchodilator treatment, or LAMA plus LABA therapy, is becoming more widely used in the management of COPD in the UK and is recommended by national and international guidelines. There are also a number of different combinations available, either in separate inhalers or as fixed-dose combinations, or FDCs. Since these treatments form a routine part of maintenance treatment for COPD in the UK, it is important to understand their relative cost-effectiveness in this context. This was what we set out to do in our article. We did this using a previously published individual level Markov model in which individual patients progress through the model based on their lung function, starting with their baseline FEV1 value. They then experience a short-term improvement in lung function following treatment, after which lung function declined based on the rate seen in the four-year uplift trial. We adapted this model for the perspective of the UK healthcare system, which allowed us to include more relevant comparators as well as UK-specific data on utilities, mortality, costs and resource use. The results of our analysis suggest that aclidinium bromide plus formoterol fumarate FDC and the free-dose combination of teotropium plus salmeterol are dominated by teotropium plus olodaterol FDC. The quality-adjusted life years, or qualies, and costs were identical for the remaining combinations compared with teotropium plus olodaterol FDC resulting in identical ices. Deterministic sensitivity analysis showed that the model was most sensitive to treatment-specific, short-term FEV1 improvements. Probabilistic sensitivity analysis showed that the teotropium plus olodaterol fixed-dose combination was the most cost-effective treatment in over 95% of simulations at both thresholds of £20,000 and £30,000 per quali. In conclusion, we demonstrated that the model structure is valid for analysis from the perspective of the UK healthcare system. We found that, given the similar acquisition costs of most LAMA plus LABA combinations in the UK, lung function improvement during treatment is the most important driver of cost effectiveness. And we also found that, since teotropium plus olodaterol FDC shows comparable or better improvements in lung function versus other LAMA plus LABA combinations, it is a cost-effective treatment option for maintenance of adult patients with COPD. Thank you for viewing this video abstract and we hope you enjoy reading our article.